What's up squash players, it's Pierre. We're back at the Secret Outdoor testing facility for a look at the Technofiber Carboflex Air Shaft 130. That's the, uh, the beauty in here. I haven't even taken it out yet, so you're seeing it when I do. I'm gonna compare it to the 125, which I already did a review on. So the 130 has got the, they look very similar. The 130 is the one in front here with the card on it and it's got the red throat and the blue in the head, whereas the 125 is the opposite blue throat. So the 130 is the red throat. These are the same exact shape, by the way. Just gonna have some slight weight differences. The 130 is, whoops, that's your beanie, Marwan's racket over here. It's 130 gram factory weight. After this outdoor session, we're gonna go weigh it inside the Squash Source underground laboratory. What's up everybody? Quick update from the underground layer. We have the stats, they're in. This is the Carboflex 130, so it's 130 gram racket. The all-in weight on my scale is 157.8. Grams. That's including strings and grip and everything uh, besides the frame. The balance of this guy, it was it's 53% of the weight is in the head using the relatively new two scale method. Thanks, tiered. To reference it to some other rackets, it's on my on the beam. That's 36 and a quarter centimeters, but 54% of the weight's in the head, which or sorry, 53%, which is pretty much identical to the 125 which had a 54 percent number i was surprised to see that these that they were the same it, this felt in the hand um a little heavier in the head but it did not pan out that way on the scale so the biggest difference really is it's just five extra grams all in on the weight the stringing pattern is 14 by 18 and the i think this is a 500 centimeter square head okay that's all from the underground layer. Back to the outside testing location. Big thanks to Technofiber for sending me this racket and two, uh, two others, the 125 and 125NS, to review. Even though we don't have the typical review conditions, but we have developed this great outdoor testing laboratory just to continue our reviews, which must go on. We're gonna hopefully have dealt with the wind noise in this video, but I'm only gonna find out after I record it, so let's go. The 130 and the 125, I did hear a couple things from Technofiber uh, after the last video, just a couple of notes. Uh, one was the string, so the, the dynamic string. Don't mind that. The dynamic string, that's what this is strung with. Dynamics VP, this is 17 gauge here. They have it in 18 thinner gauge as well. I think the factory strings are 17 gauge or maybe even 16 gauge on the factory strings. 1.25, this one says 17 gauge is 1.2 millimeters. So these might be 16 gauge. It's a new string is the point that I wanna make compared to the old dynamic string. They, uh, they changed the formula, it's not just a re renaming. Uh, so I'm supposed to, uh, I think it was a different coating on the string. I've forgotten now, sorry. But uh, it was a slight change in how they manufacture it and it's supposed to provide a little more power. So we will, we're gonna check it out here against the wall for some target practice. What else I wanna show you? Oh, the other thing was the, I mentioned in the last video, the extended string holes are mentioned up here. And I'm gonna try and show you with a close-up photo but what these actually are, they actually are different from the prior generation. I'm gonna hold up the other racket in a second, the one that you heard clattering to the ground. These actually are different from the prior generation of Carboflexes. And the best way to say it is you can see the, if, if you can see that they flare out a little bit, the grommets. So I think that that gives you more of a feeling of uh, probably stiffness is my understanding and kind of the feel I get from these rackets. I think the string vibrations as you hit are just not touching the grommets, so it's it's almost like they're um, they're not you know making the frame vibrate as you hit. Wind is strong today. Put my little wind sock up here. The marketing card has just blown away. 
All right, we better get this testing on the road. Always wear eye protection in squash. All right, quick first impressions here. The 130 feels just as solid all around as the 125 did. Just, it hits great right out of the, um, right out of the bag. Already scraped it on the ground, sorry, Technofiber. Uh, it feels great right out of the bag. And I just did a little quick comparison to the 125. The 130 definitely feels to me like more of the weight is up in the head. So as I'm sitting here, there's going to be more kind of power as long as you're prepared. It's going to come through a bit harder on the ball. And also I like that feeling of coming through with a bit of weight on drop shots, just so you don't kind of decelerate through it. The 125 actually was a lot easier for me to do this little sort of volleying thing up here. Cause it's, it's more maneuverable. It's really quick when you're moving it through those, those sort of volleys. This was a little easier. The 130 was harder to kind of get through that, but on a squash court, when I'm sitting up there and I've got my racket prepared, I might like this little bit of extra weight. So quick response is, you know, again, great design. It's similar to the previous generation. They haven't changed too much. They've made some changes, as I mentioned in the 125 video to the, to the shaft. And also, as I, we talked about earlier to the grommets, uh, and the string is the dynamics string now, but it's still a continuation of a very successful line, the Carboflex and the Carboflex 130 has, um, has shown to be almost as popular as its cousin, the, uh, the 125. So thanks again to Technofiber for providing this to review. 
and I'm going to um, be back with a review of the 125 NS, which is the one with the smaller handle that Nur, Shab Nur El Shabini plays with. So thanks a lot, and like, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.